Let's talk a little bit more about the college and midtown areas. Some of my favorite restaurants are there as well. I mean, I got I got spots in all areas of town, okay? But if you're wondering what it is like in Ventura and where you should live, I'm going to answer all of those questions for you today. I'm going to go over some of the major areas in Ventura. Even though our population is just about 100,000 people, it is still a fairly large place. And there's a few different areas that you should know about so you can consider them when you're making your move here. Just a quick introduction before we begin. My name is Raleigh Mendez. I'm a realtor with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, California Realty. And it's my pleasure to help people like you buy a home here in Ventura, California. It is so much fun. I love getting to know you and it really fulfills me to help people out. Let's get on to this video, where to live in Ventura, California. So the first place I wanna talk about is the west side in Ventura, AKA the Avenue. The avenue is just off of downtown, uh, really close to the ocean, and a lot of the homes are older, built in the 1920s. They're small. The lot sizes are not going to be that large either. So if you're wanting a yard, you're really not going to have that on the avenue. However, you are going to get some of the freaking best Mexican food. Oh my gosh. Some of my favorite Mexican places are located on the avenue. It's called Ventura Avenue. That's the street that runs the whole entire... Uh, little section of town. Taqueria de Tapatan. Oh my gosh, they got some of the best micheladas. And if you know me or as you get to know me, you know that I love me a good michelada and they have some of the best ones. And if you're wondering, oh my gosh, what's a michelada? This sounds kind of cool. It's the Mexican version of a Bloody Mary. It has tomato juice or clamato, which has a little bit of clam juice in it. Bear with me and a Mexican lager typically, and it is so good. I could drink those all day, every day, but you know, I'm not an alcoholic, so keep to one or two a week. <laughs> but anyways, the Avenue, really cute homes, a lot of Spanish style homes, and it's actually, the Avenue is actually home to one of Ventura's first historic housing tracks. It's called the Simpson Housing Track. You're gonna see a lot of cute uh, little bungalow style homes there. And there is somewhat of a stigma with the Avenue. People are like, oh, it's not too safe and I don't know if I would trust it my family being there that was the case however a lot of gentrification has been happening over the past couple of years and I would say that going in the future now it's going to be even developed and uh, renovated even more there's a lot of new construction going on and rehabilitation with a, a new park that just went in called Kellogg Park so that's a really great place because you're right next to downtown Ventura you're right next to the beach. However, if you're wanting like a big yard, I don't suggest living there. And this leads me to the downtown area. So you have the west side, and then right next to it, you have downtown, which some houses are gonna be on the hills and also in the downtown area itself. And again, you're making a trade-off because you're gonna be in the hustle and bustle of the city. Ventura is a fairly touristic place. You have lots of great restaurants in downtown Ventura, thrift shops, shops. It's really beautiful. Um, also, our gorgeous city hall. It looks nicer than the White House. Um, but again, there's a trade-off. You're not going to have a huge yard. However, there are some freaking gorgeous homes in downtown Ventura. Like, it, it hurts sometimes because I want to own all of them, but I just I physically can't do that. But I want you to get out there and start seeing these homes in downtown because they are stunning. And what's great about downtown, as I said, you're right there next to everything. You can walk to the beach. You could, uh, oh, I suggest driving to the grocery store so you don't have to carry too much. You're located right next to everything, so you don't really need a car there. However, I do suggest having one if you want to go outside of the city, okay? Um, weird tangent. Downtown is amazing. Um, so you can either live on a hilltop property with great views, or you can live in a really cool house in downtown. So yeah, the only drawback is you're not going to have a giant yard there. Um, so again, if you're one of my families who's coming here who wants to find a home where their kids can play in the yard, you're going to have to go to a nearby park. And it's not a bad thing, but if you want to have your own space, it's going to be really difficult to find one, either on the avenue or downtown. So let's talk about Pierpont. I already have a vlog up. I'll put a little link somewhere up at top right here. Pierpont is a really cool beach community in Ventura. So it's right on the beach. It, um, 25 lanes, I want to say, of uh, beach access properties. So this place is stunning. You're going to pay a little bit more to be on the beach. This place is so good though, because you got amazing coastline. There's some parks, a great elementary school. 
And again, you're centrally located to everything that you need. And, you know, as we've gone through COVID, we now know that you don't have to be right next to your office anymore. You can get most of your work uh, done from home now. So this is why coming to a really cool beach community is not a bad idea now because one, you could be living the vacation lifestyle while getting your work done on vacation. And that's the new norm, guys. You can get all of your work done from home, most of it, depending on your occupation. And that's just something so new and unique for all of us. And why not live the dream life on a beach now? Pierpont is one of those really great places that you can do that at. This is somewhat attached to the Pierpont section, and this is the Ventura Harbor. We now have a really great apartment condo complex that uh, is on the harbor now. And that's really pretty much the only living for the harbor that it has to offer. But it is just a great place to check out in general. There's tons of great restaurants and uh, shops for you to go and look at and spend the day with your family. And it's also the location where you leave to go to the Channel Islands. So if you don't own your own boat, you're going to use the Island Packers Charter Service to get over to the Channel Islands National Park. And that is such an amazing day trip, or if you plan it out carefully, a camping trip. The Ventura Harbor is awesome. And I'm going through this just a little bit fast because I'm going to be breaking uh, each area into separate vlog tours. I already have Pierpont up. Um, I'm working on the East End right now, so stay tuned for some really good uh, content about each location so you can actually see it a little bit better. And then, of course, when I'm helping you find a home, you're going to see it in person and really get the feel for these areas because they're all great and awesome, um, and I'm excited for you to get to know them. So the next area that I want to talk to you about is going to be a combination of two, and that's Midtown and the college area. They're pretty, like intertwined so as it sounds it's midtown so even though you're not right on the beach like the west side downtown and pierpont in the harbor in Ventura, you're never more than 10 minutes away from the beach so when i say oh man you're not right on the beach like compared to most people in the united states you're right on the beach essentially you're just a hop skip and a jump away you can hop on the freeway and be there in five to ten minutes so that's one thing that i love about this place because you're super close to the Pacific, and we have great weather because of that. When you're a coastal city, you're going to have perfect weather pretty much all year round. I mean, December of 2020, yeah, December of 2020, I was at the beach 10 to 15 days, and it was 65 degrees and sunny every single time. Like, how many people do you know, or how many times can you say you went to the beach in December and had like awesome days every single time? Not too many people can do that. So when you become a local here in Ventura, that's another perk. You can pretty much have beach access all year round. And I really suggest taking that opportunity because I mean, the sun is proven to actually create happiness within you um, and cures like depression and sadness. So. Just being able to go to the beach on any given day pretty much does wonders for you. So that's one awesome thing about living in Ventura as well. So I got a little sidetracked off of the midtown and college area. Yes, it's close to the beach. And this is where we start getting into the more suburban areas of Ventura. You're gonna have a lot of your major grocery stores, like dentist offices, and all of that type of stuff that you need to use on like a weekly, monthly basis. Groceries dentist, lawyer's office, doctor's office. It's all Midtown. Um, so that's the great thing about Midtown and the college area is you have all of your necessities and everything's really close by. And on top of that, we have Ventura College. Um, that's where I went to college. I played water polo and I swam there. And it was such a great experience. It's such a good school too, especially if you graduate from a Ventura High School, you got the VC Promise and you can essentially go there for two years for free. And that's such an amazing offer. And I think most people should try and take that up because you save so much money and you get a lot of your general education out of the way. So one, you're getting an, a grasp and an understanding of what you want to do with your life and not going into freaking hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt for it. So that's a really wonderful opportunity we have here. And the campus is gorgeous. That's another plus too. But you're gonna see a lot of your suburban homes. You're gonna start seeing larger yards. 
And um, in most places of Ventura too, a lot of people really care about their properties and there's a whole sense of community with making things nice and that's another great thing about it as well. If you're finding this information useful, go ahead and give me a like and a subscribe. It really helps me out so I can bring more content to you about Ventura. All right, let's jump into the east end of Ventura. This is where I currently reside. I love it here. It is a quiet, so it's the most quiet and most suburban area of Ventura. And again, we're close to the beach. And, and the only negative thing that I have to say about this, and I say it over and over in most of my videos, is that it is fairly dusty here. I just want to get you ready and prepared for that. The only reason it's like that is because we're surrounded by orchards and lots of farms and agriculture, and that creates some dust. However, it is extraordinarily beautiful. I mean, who doesn't want to drive by stunning orchards and farmland all the time? It is gorgeous. I mean, watching the sunset over these places is just breathtaking. So that's a plus side of being on the East End. We're close to, um, we're close to hiking. We have a new trail that I'm super excited about, Harmon Canyon Trail. It was, uh, the land was just acquired by the Ventura Land Trust. So we're rest assured that land is protected forever now. So our kids for generations and generations get to enjoy this new hiking trail and see Ventura in its beautiful primal state. And on the East End, as I said, this is where it's really suburban. It's a quiet area. Your homes are gonna have a pretty decent lot and nice size uh, yard depending where you live on the East End. This is such a great area for families and I'm excited for you to see this vlog that I am currently making and I hope you like it. So I've already hinted at this a little bit. I went over all of the areas of Ventura and I just wanna explain to you why, why now is a good time to make a move. And this is on March 30th of 2021. We're still in the midst of a pandemic. However, I feel like things are kind of winding down a little bit but this has shed so much light on all of our lives. I'm getting a lot of reach outs from people who want to move here because they can work remotely from home now. I just wanna put the thought in your head that yes, look at some other places, but you have the opportunity now to work from home most of the time. And why not live in an area where, where you can go to the beach any time of year and you have perfect weather all year round. It's a great place to raise kids. It's just a thought to put in your head because there's so much more opportunity now. A lot of people are doing it. And it's not just in Ventura, there's people moving, there's exodus is going on everywhere. And this is just one great place to consider. This is a wonderful area and I would love to help show you around it. The median list price for homes as of March 30th, 2021 in Ventura is around $850,000. However, that can be significantly higher or it can be significantly lower depending where you're looking here at Ventura. And that's just all unique to your situation and how much you can afford or how much you want to pay depending on what you want. If you want to make it work, we can make it work for you. We will find you a home and get you started on living a wonderful life here in Ventura, California. Let's talk a little bit more about the college and midtown areas. Some of my favorite restaurants are there as well. I mean, I got I got spots in all areas of town, okay? But let's just go over some of my favorites for each area so you can uh, get a good starting point on where you should start eating when you get here as well. So a really good restaurant in the College Midtown area is uh, Kibo Sushi. They got great deals on sushi and it is really delicious. So that's some place that I frequent often. And then on top of that, you also got uh, Stevens. Uh, it's like a Mediterranean Greek restaurant and that's where I don't go there a bunch but when I have the craving for Greek food you know that's where I'm calling to get my order placed because they got phenomenal dishes also one of my favorite bagel places in Ventura is in the college and midtown area and that's Bagelicious it's fairly new but they have amazing bagels oh my gosh I could eat those every single day the everything bagel with the mustard oof. Don't get me started, it's so good. Um, let's think about some really good restaurants on the East End. Um, I really like Simone's Coffee. I always get a monkey flip there. It is delicious. Stay tuned uh, for a later video about that. Um, and I also like Two Trees Cafe. It is so filling everything. Like if you're hungry, that's the place you gotta go because they hook it up fat there. You're gonna get delicious breakfast. Uh, they also do lunch and dinner now. And they also have a bunch of beers on tap, which is pretty cool. However, I go there mostly for um, breakfast, and I mean, I don't leave without feeling like I'm going uh, into a coma. I'm just like, Ugh. like I eat every last bite there, and it is worth it. 
and the nap after is phenomenal. So I guess uh, I should talk about my favorite place in Pierpont. I already have that little vlog tour up. Pierpont Tacos, that potato taco is so freaking good. And it's honestly a relatively good price too. So if you're in Pierpont, you gotta try those potato tacos there. So good. Downtown. I got a bunch of favorite restaurants in downtown. One that's near and dear to my heart because I work there, Barrel 33. It is a phenomenal wine bar. Warning, you can only be 21, no kids are allowed there. But you're gonna have a great experience, great food, and great wine. So you gotta check out Barrel 33. On top of that, you also have Cafe Fiore, who has a phenomenal happy hour. Suggest checking that out. So thanks for watching the areas in Ventura. They're all really cool and unique in their own ways. And when you're here, one's gonna just really speak to you in so many different ways. And realistically, I can explain things all day and go over about how great it is. However, until you get here and see it for yourself and whatever connects with you, I'm helping you get the basis of information that you need right now, but I'm just excited for you to get here so I can show you around and uh, help you make those decisions that you feel most comfortable with. So seeing things firsthand is really important, but I just want you to have this information so you're well-informed and well-equipped to make the decisions once you get here. All right, I'll see you next video.